Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to dive into the classic novel The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Now, before you yawn and click away, let me tell you that this book is far from boring. In fact, it's scandalous, witty, and uh, downright hilarious at times. So buckle up and let's dive into this review. First things first, let's talk about the plot. Our main character, Dorian Gray, is a young and handsome gentleman who's obsessed with his own beauty. He has a portrait painted of himself and soon realizes that the painting ages and becomes uglier as he remains youthful and beautiful. This realization sets Dorian down a path of vanity, hedonism, and depravity. He becomes entangled with a host of interesting uh, characters, including the manipulative Lord Henry Wotton and the tragic actress Sibyl Vane. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, that sounds like a real downer. But hold on, because Wilde's writing is anything but dreary. His wit and humor shine through in every page. He throws shade at some every, everyone and everything, from Victorian society's strict moral codes to the romanticized notions of love and beauty. Lord Henry, in particular, is a delightfully devilish character. He spots off clever one-liners and philosophical musings that make you question your own existence. But let's talk about the real star of the show, Dorian Gray's portrait. This painting is a work of art that truly comes to life throughout the novel. As uh, Dorian's soul becomes more corrupted, the portrait becomes more grostic and twisted. It's a fascinating and terrifying concept that Wilde executes flawlessly. One of the most interesting aspects of this book is its exploration of the duality of human nature. Dorian represents the good and evil sides of humanity. He is charming, kind, and generous, but he's also selfish, cruel, and manipulative. It's a reminder that we all have both light and darkness within us, and it's up to us to choose which side we let dominate. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Sarah, this all sounds like very deep and philosophical. Is there any juicy gossip? Oh, my dear viewer, there is plenty of scandal to go around. Um, this book was considered scandalous when it was first published in um, 1890, and it's not hard to see why. There are hints of homosexuality and hedonism, which were taboo topics at that time. There's even a scandalous murder that takes place uh, off page. It's all very scandalous and exciting. Uh, so, in conclusion, The Picture of Dorian Gray is a classic for a reason. It's a witty, scandalous, and thought-provoking novel that's just as relevant today as it was over a century ago. Oscar Wilde's writing is a joy to read, and his characters are fascinating and complex. Plus, um, there's plenty of scandal and juicy gossip to keep you entertained. Uh, so if you haven't read this book yet, what are you waiting for? Go pick up a copy and join the wild ride that is The Picture of Dorian Gray. So that is my book review for The Picture of Dorian Gray and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you liked this review and summary, then please hit the like button and let me know in the comments if you have any requests for any book review and summary, then I'll try my best to provide that for you. And if you haven't done already, then please subscribe to my channel. It's great to have new book lovers here. So that's it for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!